Okay, for this video, um, the first thing I'm going to do before I actually get into it is just warn you guys that it's summertime, my kids are home from school, and they might be loud in the background, but if I just wait forever until they're not around or asleep or something, I'm never going to get this video out there. So I'm just going to go for it, and hopefully they don't get loud in the background. I'll do my best to keep it short, but this is kind of a complicated topic. This video is going to be all about MAME bezels. So let's get right into it. Let's say you're playing MAME and you want some cool side art. And usually what you do is you just Google like MAME bezels or whatever. And this is pretty much where 99% of you will end up. Mr. Do's Arcade. And you go through looking at some bezels and you say, well, okay, let me download some bezel art for my Street Fighter games or something. So you download your bezel art and then you load up like Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition or something. And let me turn the volume down. This isn't Mr. Do's, sorry. This is one I did myself. But let's find some one of the ones I have from Mr. Do that's a decent little example, a fair example. Um, I don't know. Let's go to my... I believe my Alien vs. Predator came from Mr. Do's. So let's try that. Okay, enable my bezel. Okay, here's a good example of something you get from Mr. Dews. I have some kind of weird little bezel-y thing now, but it doesn't look right. What's going on? Well, if you go to video options and you go to view and it's full, now I see, okay, this is what it's supposed to look like. Weird. Why does it look like that? Why didn't he make it look more appropriate? It's because this is taken from the actual arcade machine and they just care about being authentic they don't care about what looks good when you're in crop view and it's the same story for anything you get basically from that website and sometimes it's gonna work out well where it fits sometimes it's not let's look at a game like Street Fighter Alpha 3 for example I love Street Fighter Alpha 3 and I have the default uh, official artwork for Street Fighter Alpha 3 from that website turn it down a little bit all right, video options. Bezels are enabled but cropped. Let's uncrop them and see what we're getting. See, I don't see that unless I want to play with a small screen. I'm not gonna see that. It's hidden from view. So it's like, what's the point of even having it? So that's where we start to try to look farther and deeper into the internets to find our good proper bezels that fill up those black areas along the sides of the screen and do it well. And the first tip I have for you, now this is the standard Mr. Do's. This is where I was talking about for people who don't even know how to get the standard official artwork. Now the first place I have for you guys to look for a good collection of better artwork, right here, progrettasnaps.net slash artworks. Down here at the bottom, if you download this, it's going to have a pack of artwork. And a lot of the games are games you probably never heard of and don't have. But it has a couple of cool popular games in it as well. And one of the ones I got out of it was Marvel Superheroes, for example. So I'll show you one of the ones that was included in the pack. Okay. Turn the volume on. Here you go. This was included in that pack. This isn't something I made. This is something that came from that pack. And it looks really, really good. Okay. But what do we do for a game like Street Fighter Alpha 3, for example, that when you look at it, you can't see the artwork along the sides. We need to create our own because it wasn't in the pack. We can't find any proper artwork for it anywhere online. And when you start looking online, you're going to find some forums that have good artwork, but they're only for like Rocket Launcher, for example. Like when I found this, I was like overjoyed. It's so many games in here, and each one has gorgeous artwork, right? Like really good artwork that is meant to fill up those black spaces and look beautiful, with some of them have several to choose from. Problem is there's no dot lay file that MAME needs. It's meant to work with any file for Rocket Launcher. And if you're like most people and you're not using Rocket Launcher, it's gonna crash MAME when you try to use it. So what I did is I would download, I would find, oh, for the games I had, like I have Golden Tee Golf too, so I downloaded it. Any game I had, I would download the ones, all right, from here, and then I would get them and see that they're beautiful, but they were missing the dot lay format. So what I needed to do was a cheap workaround to create a template, okay? So this is where you come. Progresso snaps.net, artworks, artwork files, sort by letter. And this one right here, uh, Street Fighter 2, The World Warrior, there's two. There's one here and one here. This one over here on this side, 
is a great template to create the cool effect of these metal uh bezels but have it work for standard MAME and you don't need rocket launcher because this right here when you download it and you look at it this is what it's gonna look like let me go launch it up it's gonna look like this see now this is a good standard template because it looks like the professional quality stuff of Metal Zoics that he has for Rocket Launcher, which is a great resource. It has so many artwork for so many games. But this just loads up with MAME. This isn't for Rocket Launcher. So if you take my advice and you take this link right here and you download the second one over, the 4.32 megabyte, you download that and it just works with MAME. It has its own working.lay file. I just call that my template my bezel template and here it is in its raw form okay and it has a lay file that works and all these things it has your uh, the screen effect the bezel effect and it has three artworks to choose from let me delete this little thing here that was there for an example three artworks to choose from and when you open them up it doesn't look like much but what you're able to do is paste over your own custom art now for the example and then you're gonna use it and it's just gonna work and for the example I was gonna say let's do Street Fighter Alpha 3 because when I play Street Fighter 3 I just get these black bars but I want some pretty artwork on the side okay now that pack that I was referring to the Metal Zotes pack it has a Street Fighter Alpha 3 folder in here with some beautiful artwork and I'll go ahead and show it to you now let's go find it here it is Street Fighter Alpha 3 okay unzip it Did I already have one on the desktop? Yeah, I did. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, here we go. Street Fighter Alpha 3. Now, this is from the Metal Zoix pack, and let's look at his artwork. See? Not just black bars on the sides, but some proper stuff. Looks pretty cool. How do we get this to work with regular MAME? Because in his folder from his pack, he doesn't have a .lay file. He has these configuration files that don't work with MAME, they only work with Rocket Launcher. You can try to make your own .lay file and just delete these two any files and have a dot lay in here that tells me how to use these but I've tried it to no success I need I need to learn a little bit more maybe because I don't know exactly how far over the pixel needs to go exactly on the screen XY coordinates for every little element and I just haven't had good results but what I have done is figured out a cheap little ghetto workaround so what I do is I again he has this great resource of great artwork and then we have what we know is a working version of a good bezel format with uh, everything in place from this 4.32 megabyte download of Street Fighter 2. So what we need to do is take his good art and put it on top of our template. So basically what we want is for this PNG to have his good art pasted over the top of these little side areas. And then we just need to rename it problem is if you do that normally with like Microsoft Paint or something it looks everything is gonna look fine but the white area is gonna be actually white when you get in the game and not transparent and you won't see your screen so you're gonna need either Photoshop or something that handles alpha transparency now I didn't want to spend the money on Photoshop so what I was able to do was get this program called GIMP uh, so just type that in Google GIMP and here's the download page and it's totally free and it allows us to do what we need to do to save alpha transparencies and I installed GIMP okay now I'm gonna show you the process it's a little complex so I assume if you're watching this video you're able to handle a little bit of the complexity and I'm just gonna be running through this as fast as I can so we see we have our Street Fighter Alpha 3 art right here and I'm gonna open that in a basic program like photo filter or something or Microsoft Paint or whatever now I'm gonna copy this side piece okay so I'm copying the good art copy and then we also need the destination so this was our resource our source material for where the good art is coming from here's our template that I showed you about okay so let me put the template into photo filter and so we've copied the good art and we're gonna paste it into our template okay now we need to resize it so I'm gonna say you find out the right size I already know the right size for this template is 886 okay and then there we go now it's the right height so now we just need to get the right width okay so that's where you just kinda drag it in and yes it distorts the image but hey this isn't perfect 
Okay, this isn't rocket science. All right, this is the best we can do right now. Okay, so now we're going to need to copy it and take it somewhere. Edit, copy it, and then where we're going to try to take it is in this template to overwrite this original one. So I'm going to open the original one with my GIMP that I downloaded. If you have Photoshop, you can use that, but it has to be a program that handles alpha transparencies. So I opened it in GIMP, which is a program that was free online and handles alpha transparencies. Now I'm going to hit edit paste there we go it's already sized now I just gotta slap it into this little area over here make sure I get it just right I don't wanna leave a gap boom okay now for the other side so we're gonna go back to our little basic photo filter or paint program or whatever you wanna use and we're going to get the other side so let's go ahead and grab the other side okay got it copy and then to the destination template we're going to hit paste then we're going to resize it 886 height in this case all right and then we're going to take it drag it into place so that we can work on the resizing of the width okay just a little bit over the width's not going to be perfect in the end but just to give you an example all right and then we're going to hit edit copy it and open it in our serious alpha transparency handling program in my case GIMP in your case you might have Photoshop or something paste it in put it into the place where we need it to be visible uh, right there should be safe alright now hit export as file export as let it rename alright replace and I turn on save the gamma and the layer offsets. I don't know if you need to, but I do. It's saving it, overriding it with the transparency. Now I can close the programs, close the artwork programs. Don't need them anymore. Don't need them. Close it. Yep. Close. Whatever. Done. Now if I open up our template, I get that. Okay. So let's go ahead and put it into a... Uh, well, first the default lay needs to say Street Fighter Alpha 3. Normally it would say... Street Fighter 2, right? Because that's where we got it from. We got it from right here. Street Fighter 2, okay? But I just named mine Street Fighter Alpha 3, the game I'm using as an example here, all right? File, save. I don't have to worry about any of these other settings, okay? Just leave them alone. And then I just need to zip it up for MAME. So highlight it, 7-zip, add to a dot .zip, and just make sure the dot .zip has the same name as the ROM. In this case, Street Fighter... Street Fighter Alpha 3 okay now I just need to put that into my artworks folder so let's go ahead and do that alright my main folder my artwork folder take this copy it on in there replace what I had which was the plain black bars on the sides from Mr. Do's where you couldn't even see anything the insert card was all it was at the bottom which you wouldn't see when you cropped so we've made this out of the template and we've copied that in the artwork and now let's go ahead and see what Street Fighter Alpha 3 looks like okay volume down a little bit okay there we go now the reflection effect is because I copied it over onto the one that had the reflection effect but there was remember there was three in there so there was one without reflection effect and I've actually done that earlier before I started this video just to show you save time so here's one with, here's one without reflection. Okay, now there's a third one too that has no shading, but I haven't taken the time to copy this art onto that one, so it's still the default uh, template Street Fighter 2 artwork. Because we started with this pink and purple and white default Street Fighter 2 artwork on all three. On the artwork with the reflection and the shading, on the one with no reflection and the one with no shading, it was all this same art. And what I'm doing is showing the process of overwriting that with whatever you want for whatever game you intend to make bezel art for and so that's the methodology we're using here it's not perfect it's extremely ghetto it's a cheesy workaround but it gets the job done you know what I mean that's that's the point at the end of the day we're just trying to get the job done like if I open my Ninja Turtles let's take a look at Ninja Turtles turn that volume down see this artwork I got it, the only place I can find this artwork is for something that only worked with rocket launcher and using this method I was able to change the artwork and now I have three to choose from I got that one I got that one 
And I got that one. So, I know this video was a pain to follow along with because I'm just all over the place, you know, and covering so many bizarre things, you know. But at the same time, if you're willing to, like, slow it down and really follow along with this video, you're probably going to be able to figure out what it is I'm talking about. <laughs> Hopefully. And get some cool looking bezel art for yourself without any real complication. Again, you know, you can have three to, that you end up choosing from in the end as well. You know what I mean? So it's just, it's, it's a ghetto way of doing it. It is, admittedly. But it's really not that hard when you think about it. And instead of waiting for somebody to create proper bezel art that has the nice sides for MAME, that works with MAME right away, you can just create your own like this, you know what I mean? And it takes a little bit of time, but with GIMP, that's free, you know what I mean? So you're not really spending any money. Everything's just going to work the way it's supposed to. You know what I mean? And if you don't like the plasticky effect, the plastic bezel effect, instead of using a template that has this, that has the plastic bezel, all right, and then taking the PNG or PNG image and pasting your art over the sides, and then with the alpha transparency, and then changing it to be the name of the ROM here, and then zipping it and changing that to be the name of the ROM and dropping it. In. Just use a different template. Use a bezel template that does not include the plasticky piece like this one. It's just full side art, as you can see I've done here for Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo in the past. So now if I open Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, basically there's no plastic. But anyways, you get the idea. This, this video is going to go on forever. This is a strange topic for me to cover because I'm not the expert and I'm just starting to dabble in it myself. And sorry for the noise in the background, but if I didn't make this video now, I was never going to make it. So let me just assume that this might have been helpful for a few people out there. If you have questions, I might be able to answer them in the comments if I can. Again, I'm not an expert. Thanks. Good luck.